Hello everyone, welcome today. I know that lately we are sitting in the very beginning of June and there has been an exorbitant amount of different things going on. And so with all of the experiencing and learning and reclassifying and labeling things, I want to take this class with all of us here to really dive into the disintegration of labels. Labels that commonly come up as, you know, this stretch feels tight, or this space feels confining, or this movement feels challenging. And really sit with just what it feels like in that moment, in that tiny little flicker of a presence to to dive into what it can be described as rather than boxed and labeled and categorized and put away. So with that, I invite you to find any space that feels comfortable. Um, push away some furniture, push away some decorations so that it feels really clear, very simple. You can wear absolutely anything, sit on anything. You can even find yourself lying down legs up the wall, whatever you feel like, but try to remain present in this moment. So turn off some distractions, silence your phones, and let's dive in. This will be a really short, maybe five, ten minute maximum um, grounding presence. It can be considered a meditation, but it's really going to be a thought unraveling. So let's all take a moment to get comfortable. You can find yourself seated on a pillow cross-legged, you can sit on your shins, um, whatever you'd like to really make yourself feel right here. So with that, let's begin by taking a really big inhale into the upper portion of the chest, and then allowing all of that to escape as we begin to drop in. Palms can face down, they can be cupped in your lap, doesn't matter. Another really big breath in, this time into low belly. Big exhale, release out through your jaw. Two more. Big inhale. And an even bigger exhale. Good, at this moment you can begin to let your eyes shutter closed, flutter. Shutter, it doesn't matter what words. If they feel like they don't want to stay closed and you're clenching them shut, see if you can flutter them open and closed until you feel like they're the two sweetest little magnets just beginning to subtly get stronger and hold them in that space until they're closed. Seeing if you can soften the space around your eyes, your eyebrows, your forehead. Let that trickle down through your temples through your cheeks, jawline, soften your ears, the back of your neck and your throat. Let's begin. Draw to the forefront of your mind something that's been really hard, maybe in the past day, the past minute, the past month, whether it's in your family, with your friends, work, what's been really hard? Let that experience, that encounter begin to gurgle to the surface, digging through every fiber of your recollection, sifting through those actions that were done, or the words that were said, letting them reverberate as loudly as they need to be. Maybe they're screaming and yelling. Maybe they're really soft and whispering. Maybe you can even allow some of the words that want to be silenced to be heard. And then let's take all the descriptive words that we've used to label that moment. Hard, challenging, 
angry, bitter, maybe sweet or subtle. And then let all of those words just be. A really beautiful metaphor or analogy for this is watching your thoughts as if they were clouds in the sky. And as the cloud comes across your view, you just watch it come and morph and evolve and disintegrate and pass on. So as that experience rises up, maybe you feel a clenching in the chest, see if you can expand your shoulders a little bit more and then relax your neck. Maybe you feel a lot of tension around your throat, see if you can relax your jaw. It comes from a silencing of our thoughts and oppression of our feelings. Give this the space for them to be heard. As each of those moments come up, see if we can begin to dive a little, a little bit deeper, one layer under. So while it comes up as hard, what does it feel like? Does it feel warm and burning? a fire and a passion in the pit of our stomach. And can you watch it so adamantly, so intently, that it begins to dissolve? Just like that cloud. Where does that sensation migrate to in your body? Where do we store and pocket every little thing that comes up, what people do to us in society, what people say to others, what words do we say that we don't understand the repercussions of? How do we show up? After that one moment that we've watched evolves or dissolves or maybe still lingers, we can actively choose to move on to the next. So now let's call to mind another occurrence that's happened. Let's find one that's happened just from today. Maybe we haven't even left our home or whatever place we're currently occupying. What about all the triggers that we don't experience from personal contact, but have such a lasting effect? Social media, our phones, texts, phone calls. Let's bring one example up. And as if we're sifting through a file folder, let's go moment by moment and deepen our breath as we dig through that. Again, noticing the labels that come up, noticing the toxicity and the repetition that we attach. This is like our re-education. These moments come up and we have now the space that we've carved out to dig back through and reevaluate. Find one sensation to track. And as if your life depended on it, watch it. Watch it come. Watch it linger. What adjectives can we use to describe it? Is it sticky? tacky, cold, curious? What is it? Where does it migrate to? Do you feel a numbness in your fingertips and your toes? Numbness or nothingness is also a sensation. And by bringing awareness to a nothingness feeling, sometimes we'll begin to feel Tiny flickers, tiny ideas that 
begin to bubble up. The act of digging back through can be really, really good work. It can also be exceptionally hard and challenging. Ladies. So can we just watch the alterations that occur by just giving the space for those interactions to come back up and be replayed. And again, let's close that and not dwell too long. Allow it to move on. And we intentionally put it away in a little box and close the lid and leave it for later. We've dug through two different packages. We've watched multiple sensations come and go and morph. And we've tried to experience the description of those rather than stamping a label onto that. So just letting that be enough. Knowing that you can drop into this kind of practice in between experiences. With that, let's bring our hands together and begin to rub so passionately, so quickly until your hands begin to warm up. Notice the sensations that arise whenever we begin to build fire. Maybe you didn't feel a lot of sensations or maybe you felt overwhelming sensations before, but now we all unify until our hands get tingly and fiery and then find some place that we want to bring that to. Big exhale out, sinking into the space a little bit deeper, taking a moment of gratitude for yourself for showing up for you. When we sit and do this kind of work, it's for us. My gratitude in that moment so that we become better, so that we become stronger, more educated, and more aware so that we can pass everything we have inside, all of that power and passion and strength, out to everything else around us. Slowly let your eyes flutter back open, and I hope that you have an absolutely outstanding day wherever you are, knowing that this community is always here and always behind you, no matter what it might look like. See you guys next time. Please be sure to leave a review and let me know how this worked for you today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.